All right, it's Tony with Olympic View Development. And I ran into a problem. Now, I was working on my living room project, finishing the framing for one of my walls. And I went to plug a saw in, and it just went out just instantly. So now I got to inspect and see what's going on. And so when I start inspecting, and when you're working on these older houses, there's no telling what you're going to find through the walls. So I pull off one of the walls in the bathroom, which is the, the adjacent wall to the kitchen, and I see this wiring. And I'm going to tell you the problem with this wiring here. I mean, other than it's like all wrong. Well, it's connected right. I mean, you know, with wiring, you only got a ground, neutral, and a power in the hot. So, but the problem is... I believe one of the sockets blew and the way this is wired the way this is wired is it goes from one socket to the next socket so if one socket blows the rest of the whole line blows and that's the wrong way to do it the way you're supposed to do this is you pigtail all your sockets so if one of these sockets blows the rest of the line will still work and you'll easily be able to determine it's that one socket and replace it. So pulling all this out and inspecting, I've decided I just need to go ahead and rewire all this right. So I'm noticing there's some 10-2 wire in there, I believe. Yeah, I just need to do this right and get this over with. So no more quick fixes here. So I'm going to have to put the living room project on hold today and do this. Now when I come back, I'll show you what I did and hopefully everything is working again. All right. All right, I think I found the problem that went bad on that line. And the problem, I believe, if you can see this here, get to focus. If you notice that top left lug right there, Look like the wire kind of melted into that and that's the neutral and the neutral kind of melted off that's why i like to wrap them around the screws if i could see it it melted off the lug there because when i used my tester it showed the whole line was still getting power it was still getting power right at the socket so i think it slipped off that neutral there and because of that, it made the whole rest of the line go down. So I'm going to rewire this thing, and I'll show you what I did when I come back. All right, this is it. Very lazy wire job here. It's not up to code. It's not anything. I think my, my staples are way further than six inches. The reason why I'm doing I did this on purpose. And the reason why I did this is because I'm tearing this whole area out probably in two weeks and redoing it. But this was just an emergency. I had to get this power back working in here. So that's what I had to do. Power's back up. All the sockets are working. And that was really a waste of my time completely. I was supposed to be working on the living room. But things happen. You're dealing with older houses. So that's it. My lazy wire job. It works. It's safe. So that's what it is.